Without a doubt, your biggest friend when motorhoming or camping is your fire. It gives you warmth in the chilly evenings, it's a focal point of camp life, it keeps away unfriendly animals, and of course you cook on it. Join SA Road Trippers founder Sean Sale on a recent motorhoming trip to Namibia as he takes you through the various options and then how to make a fire that you can cook on. The wood in Namibia is lovely and dry. This is a range of Dürrenhout thorn bush wood. There's a variety of different types and in Namibia luckily it's all dry. However, be careful in different parts of the country when you buy wood in plastic bags, often that wood is not dry and you'll battle to get it going. The other options are charcoal. Charcoal is wood that has been burnt and then quenched at a certain point and briquettes. It's called a briquette. These, it's the charcoal dust is compressed to form this little briquette. However, to keep it to bind so that it doesn't fall apart, they put a lot of starch with. I personally prefer the charcoal. It's more original, it's more natural. However, try and get charcoal that is from a hardwood source. Generally, Namibian charcoal uh, is using hardwood. As you see here, charcoal is often used with a traditional wood fire. Sorry, Sean. Okay, so how do you make a wood fire? We've got some great dry firewood from Namibia. We've sorted it from thicker pieces to thinner pieces. So obviously starting the fire, we're gonna try and use the thinner pieces first to get it going. The idea when you make a fire is you need to leave enough air that the fire can, can actually breathe. Pack it, that there's gaps, and then when you start the fire, the chances are better that the fire can work because there's actually gaps in between. Okay, so we've used Blitz fire lighters to get it going. We lit the fire lighters and put it inside. You can see that there's plenty of air so the, the flames can actually move around the wood. We're using tongs to work the fire. Use a different pair of tongs for the wood and another pair of tongs for the food. I use these tongs, these ones, to handle wood because you can pick up the wood easy, move it over the fire and put it on the fire. They're easy to go. The clamshell tongs are wider, like a clam, and I use those to pick up meat. So when I turn the meat, I use these. Fire tongs, and these are the meat tongs. And it's as easy as that. Once you have a fire, you need to wait for it to burn down and produce coals. And it's the coals that you cook on. So we started the fire earlier. We've now put a tripod in the fire. We're gonna keep the fire going on the one side and we're gonna slowly introduce heat under the pot while keeping the fire going. This setup is what we call using a feeder fire, where you regulate the temperature of the cooking by introducing or removing coals from under the pot or meat, while maintaining a supply of fresh heat for the longer cooking times from a separate or feeder fire to one side. If the chicken's cooking too much, you simply just scrape the coals away, and when it gets colder, you can scrape the coals back. You can also supply heat like this when cooking potatoes or corn wrapped in foil. And that's Sean's tips for making a perfect fire to cook on. Thanks, Sean. Make sure you watch our other useful tips videos to help you get the most from your motorhoming holiday. We'll see you soon.